So I'm going to start with a standard camera lens and turn it into a projector lens. So I'm going to open a sample file which contains um, a 35mm type camera lens, a completely standard lens that you would have with almost any kind of camera, just an off-the-shelf type of lens. I'll just set up the, um, the windows the way I like them to be. Here. Right, and so what I really want to do, this is a camera lens where the thing that you're looking at is way over here and you're forming an image on a CCD here. Uh, I actually want to turn this around and use it the other way around uh, so that I, I'm putting uh, the thing that I want to image here and I'm going to fire rays out the other way around. And that's really quite straightforward. What I do here is I just click on surface number one and then I highlight all of these surfaces and then I go up here in the toolbar of the lens editor for the reverse elements tool and it comes up pre-arranged around the surfaces I've highlighted I click on OK and those surfaces get turned around so the lens is now pointing out the other way now it's not yet focused so I'm going to put the what was the focal distance here as now the object distance so that's 57.315 which is the just the number here I could have um, I could have just as easily copied and pasted that I, I just didn't and I'm also going to say that the screen is five millimeters uh, five meters away from the projector so I'm going to set this to being 5,000 millimeters 5,000 millimeters and I'm just going to reset the drawing to go from surface 0 to surface 11 so that what you can see here is the object now being imaged out by these lenses. Also one thing that I need to change is how the field of view has been defined and I can edit the field of view here in this dialog box or I can just double click and get the fields dialog box coming up like so. So I actually want to just put it in here and I'll just close that again and you'll see that I'm specifying the field of view by angles it's a 14 degree angle and that results in a 21 millimeter image height so what I'm going to do is just set the object height maximum value 21 and ask it for equal area fields and that then just gives me the height here of the object to be the same as the height of the image was before I reversed it and then the last thing I want to do is just bring the lens into focus uh, because it's, it was focused for being at infinity on the other conjugates. It's now at 5000, which is long, but it's not infinite. So I'm going to take this thickness here and I'm going to go to the Optimize tab. I'm going to use the Quick Adjust tool and I'm going to Quick Adjust Surface Zero's thickness for best spot size on the image surface. I'll press Adjust. And you can see that the lens slightly uh, refocuses. It went from 57 to 59 millimeters here. And the lens has come into focus at a distance of uh, 5 meters away from the final lens. So that's the steps involved in just turning a regular camera lens into a projection lens. We just turn it around, change the definition of field, and refocus it.